beautiful bird, my goodness. Right across the road. And this is my world now. My name is Alan Lacey, and I'm a wildlife filmmaker, cameraman, and producer. Adventure with me as I explore the amazing world of nature and show you what it's like filming the wild. All right, getting ready to head out tonight. Back to find some curlew. So, found out where they were at yesterday. So today, it's about getting out and, uh, actually filming them today. So, know where they're at. Now it's time to go get these cameras rolling. I'll see you when I get there. I've been on location filming a story about burrowing owls for the past few weeks out here in Eastern Oregon, which if you haven't seen that episode yet, you should definitely check it out, especially if you like cute baby owls. Whenever I am driving around this place, I am always looking for an opportunity to film coyotes, but it has always proven very challenging. There are several different packs of coyotes on this location, but none of them like it when I drive by, so all I ever get to film is the view of their tails in high gear getting as far from me as possible. A good survival technique, I suppose, but not good for filmmaking. All right, so after a lot of work, I actually finally found a coyote that I was able to film today. Um, he didn't want to have anything of it, so he did, he was gone after uh, a short little bit. Like I say, it's not much. He was quite a long ways away by the time I got the camera on him. Now I'm on to continue looking for Curlew. All right, I just got here to where I believe the Curlew possibly could be nesting. Um, so I'm just gonna sit here quietly for a moment or two and see if I can't pinpoint where they're coming from. All right, I've been sitting here for a few minutes now and I do see a, a curlew. It's a little up on the hillside over there. Um, so I think I'm gonna set up the camera and try to kind of hide down. Don't have any unfortunate, like uh, any kind of blind material, but I'm gonna just kind of make myself a low profile and hopefully uh, that'll be good enough for now. for the curlew to show. There's a couple of them over here. So, just need to balance out this camera, get it equally centered. There we go. What I'm basically doing here is, part of the story that we're telling about burrowing owls here on the depot, is we have a lot of other wildlife that occupies this area. And then this, this part of the depot, it's a really popular place for long-billed curlew. And uh, they used to be a rare bird, kind of still are, but this is a popular breeding ground for them. So I basically have got this set up. I'm shooting at this in 4K. Um, that way I can shoot 120 frames per second. And um, I've got my ISO setting at 1600 just to give it a little extra light. Um, the waveform is currently right in the middle. Um, 119 frames per second, 5500 Kelvin, so right in the daylight, kind of that medium warm temperature. Shooting in 4K with a 2.1 aspect ratio, or 2 to 1 aspect ratio. And uh, so yeah, now the main thing is just 
waiting for them to show up. But that's part of the game. <laughs> And we got something flying. And we've got a Harrier. Male Harrier. Grey ghost. Oh, he's gorgeous. Tell you what, now that was fantastic. <laughs> I have never really seen a male harrier hawk up close like that, and, and he came like right in front of the camera. Got him almost full frame, 120 frames a second. I am pretty excited about that. I can't wait to get back and check the footage and hope that I nail the focus, but man, you can't get any better than that. He flew right over the top of a burrowing out pair that's down there, and they went into the burrow. I could hear the alarm call of the male earlier, but he went like right over the top of the burrow. <laughs> Crazy. All right, Curlew, your turn. After the Harrier flew away and off into the distance, I decided to move a little bit further away from the truck in order to minimize my presence on the landscape all in hopes that the curlew would fly in a little bit closer. I found a little indentation in the terrain, which would provide a little bit of cover to film from since I didn't have a blind. Sometimes you have to make the most of what you have. Now I just hoped it would work. and it didn't take long. Soon the curlew started flying in and their calls would give me plenty of warning to get the camera ready. So the curlew have been making these little flights in and out and it's been pretty interesting. Long-billed curlew are the largest of the sandpiper family and are a rare bird. Their numbers have held steady over the past few decades, but they were once hunted and have lost most of their ideal grassland breeding habitat. Of course it lands behind us here. Might be able to get him actually. Right on the other side of this camera lens. There he is. Oh, 
All right. Scratching his neck. Curlew are remarkable birds and are actually quite big as the largest shorebird in North America. Right now they are here in this grassland area to breed and raise their young, which I'm hoping to film their little ones later in the season. Long-billed curlew are also known as candlestick birds, mainly because of their long bill which resembles a candlestick. And a cool fact, some people claim that Candlestick Point in San Francisco was named after these birds, which were once numerous there. Candlestick Park, a famous stadium that housed the San Francisco Giants and where the 49ers won multiple Super Bowls, also bore that name until it was demolished in 2015. One of the things that's kind of challenging about this, this bigger setup is, well, it's bigger <laughs> and it weighs a lot. It's probably about 50 pounds or so. And operating it just by myself, you know, it's certainly doable, but it does require quite a bit of uh, patience to just get the camera set up and doing it right, especially when the action's happening. So earlier today, I had an opportunity to film a couple of coyotes and as I'm driving along the road, you see them kind of off, actually fairly nearby, but by the time you can get the camera set up, get the tripod down, get the camera out of the car, onto the tripod, and then get your uh, zoom rocker onto the thing so be able to have actual control of the zoom focus there. Um, the coyote's gone. <laughs> it's way off in the distance, so all the footage I got of him today, the coyote's way, way, way out in the distance. So today's been a very productive day. Coyotes and curlew, um, yeah, and Harrier Hawk too. I mean, you just can't go wrong with all that, all that wildlife right out here in this pretty amazing landscape. There's something about spending time out in nature. I've said it before, but it's extremely therapeutic for me to get outside and enjoy the beauty of it all. Observing wildlife doing their thing and working hard to eke out a living in their environment it's a humbling experience. We can all learn from these amazing creatures and totally take the time to reflect on our lives and truly focus on the meaning of life and the things that are important to us. Nature can teach us many things if we just listen and open our eyes and simply pay attention to what nature is telling us. All right, guys. The sun's kind of getting low on the horizon. It's beautiful light right now, golden hour. And um, I think I'm gonna just call the video here, focus on filming from here on out. So it's been an awesome day though. I mean, the gray ghost, the male Northern Harrier, I've never seen one of those before. That was fantastic, really made my day. And then of course seeing the coyotes, that was of course cool. Um, and then filming now the curlew. So it's been a pretty remarkable day. So I'm gonna focus on filming now. Um, you guys know the drill, give this video a like. Give it that thumbs up if you haven't done so already. Um, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I've got a lot more video content planned just like this. Um, so would love to have you follow me on this journey. And would love to hear your feedback on what your favorite part of this episode was. Drop a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you guys think. All right, I'm gonna focus on these Carlyle. And in the meantime, keep another eye out for the next episode of Filming the Wild. Thank <laughs> you.